Okay, Bryce, you want to tee this up for us? Yes, what we're doing today is false friends. Oh, false good. Uh, Excellent. Yes. Say false that again, please, friends. Bryce. We're doing false friends, false amigos, you know, false cognates. I think that's a more yeah. technical term. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so does everybody know what we're talking about here? No. Okay. There are no. words. <laughs> there there are words that sound the same in English and in Spanish. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. Hay palabras que suenan lo mismo en inglés y en español. Okay. And so they're called cognates. These words that sound the same are cognates, but there are words that sound the same and don't mean anything close to the same. What is the most common example? Embarazada. Embarazada. Embarazada, sí. No significa embarrassed. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué significa? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So. Avergonzada. Uh huh. Avergonzada, sí. Yeah. Y okay. exit, exit. Sí. De, de Exit, salida. Y exitoso. Sí. sí. Éxito. 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 Sí. Yeah. Exit does not, éxito does not mean exit. No, exit is salir. Sí, es salir. Yes. Aquí tenemos Charlotte. And exit doesn't mean éxito. Exit means salida. Right. Salida. What, what, excuse me, what was the first one you mentioned? I wasn't uh, familiar with it. Embarazada it does not mean embarrassed. It means pregnant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's, that's an important one. Sí. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it happens a lot. It happens a lot. People say, oh, estoy embarazada. Nope, you're not. <laughs> em, emba, embarazada. Embarazada. You know, there's another one I didn't mention, but I think I, I hear, I think I've heard everyone say this, so I, I didn't put it with emocionado, emocionada. Estoy muy emocionado. I think I've heard almost everyone in the group say that at one time or another, so. Okay. All right, so let's just have a look down here. Constipado. Um, I have a question. All right. Um, did you happen to put in here, uh, Bryce, intoxicado? Hay mala conexión. Intoxicado? No, I didn't, I didn't put that one. Okay. I would like to do that uh, because uh, it's kind of important. Anna, when you say um, estoy intoxicado, Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Yeah, uh, you're poisoned. You have poison, some type of poison in your your body and your veins. Okay. And you might die. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there's a there's a real famous uh, medical case where it's from 20 years ago, 30 years ago, but uh, a hospital in Miami. Uh, a guy came in and he was saying, estoy intoxicado. And the ER doctor thought he was just drunk, intoxicated. Mm. Yes. Mm. And left him to, just left him in the hallway to Fine. sober up. And he died. And the mm. family sued the hospital. And it was one of the very first major cases. Of, this is kind of what started hospitals having to have translators there you mm. go okay <clears throat> too much information boy a la tienda a comprar sopa i'll do this uh, one uh for uh, i i go to the store to buy uh soup yes i'm going yeah okay i'm going to the store to buy soup. Can what's the difference between voy a la tienda a and voy a la tienda para? Is it the same thing? A comprar, para comprar. To me, yeah. to me it's the same. Wait, is this is lo mismo? Voy a la tienda a comprar or para comprar es lo mismo? 
Sí, eh, en este caso sí, es a, a, es, eh, se utiliza para lo mismo el a y el para. Uh Tiene el mismo significado, no, no, eh, -huh. puede ser que eh, alguien con eh, especial, especializado en literatura te diga que no, <risa> pero por lo menos Uh en, -huh. hablando comúnmente decir voy a la tienda a comprar esto es o voy a la tienda es para comprar esto es, es lo mismo. esto uh -huh. Manish, can you read the Spanish um Spanish translation? Uh, voy, a la, voy a la tienda a comprar sopa. Okay. Right, right. Uh, any Uh, other bef gotchas before in we here? continue, voy a y voy para. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes you can differentiate this. Um, use voy para to specify a destination or an an address, Ah, uh -uh. a specific place where you are. Voy a, a Managua. Voy hacia la catedral. Voy a la escuela. Para la escuela. So voy para. So voy. Uh, it's a, I'm going to a place. Okay, you are um, communicating um, or, or talking about a direction, destination. And voy para, um, when you you go someplace, of course, but um, implies more what you are going to do there. What's the purpose of that action? Voy a comprar, voy a leer, voy a terminar la comida, eh, voy a comprar sopa, okay? Uh, voy para los Estados Unidos, voy para Venezuela, voy para Miami, cualquier cosa. Entonces, voy para, normalmente, se usa para lugares. -huh. Okay. Now, Ana, I wanted Disculpa, to say one y thing. no, no te escuché, Ana. Um, I wanted to say one thing. Uh, Ajá. The, the, the different de uh, voy para a uh, voy a. ah, sí, eh, sería voy para a un lugar. Voy a Venezuela, voy... a Ajá. México, voy Uh a Granada, okay. Normalmente o comúnmente se usa cuando vas a decir hacia dónde te dirigís, cuál es el lugar donde vas. Y eh, luego tenés voy a, que sería cuando estás diciendo qué vas a hacer. Voy a comprar sopa, voy a hablar con la niña, voy a ayudar a mis hijos con -huh. la Sí, tarea, etcétera. Entonces, eh, en inglés, para nosotros es igual. I'm going to. No cambia, ¿ok? Pero si, eh, si le ayudas a, a un compañero norteamericano, le, le puedes explicar eso. Voy para Ah, ok. a un lugar y voy a, a lo que vas a hacer. I was Claro, French the sí, second por eso time. decía de que capaz si sí había una explicación, pero se usa como Sí, muy libre. a veces, correcto. Se Sí. usa muy libre eso. Eh, en la vida, re, o sea, en, 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 la, en una conversación cotidiana, Correcto. es como muy libre, pero sí. sí. Manish, Y, what, what else were you going to say? um, I wasn't talking about the first dog. I was talking about the second dog. For comprar, he's talking about before comprar. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, the voy And, a la uh, tienda a comprar sopa or voy a la tienda para comprar sopa. Do you mean voy a or voy para? No, he, he's... Voy a, voy a la Okay. tienda para comprar sopa. Yeah, so then it was what I said before. And you were going to say, Bryce, what? That, that's that's what I was going to say. That's because he was asking about putting it before comprar. So I just wanted to, to make sure we covered that. Well, then Versus, could versus, you borrow versus, some? versus Yeah, that's right what I was after saying, boy. so I, I don't understand. Because he was asking, he was asking specifically, he wasn't asking about boy para la tienda. Uh, Okay. he was talking about boy a la tienda The para second. comprar. Mm The second, -hmm. yeah, that's what he was Okay, asking. the second, the, okay. The, 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 the comprar. Well, there is a difference. It's not always Yes. the same. Yes. So, the, since the store is a destination, you could use para there? <laughs> you could also. Voy para Yeah. la tienda? Yeah, that's what it was, that way Okay. it was saying Yes. that in this case, uh, you can use both. Gracias. Mm You -hmm. Very well. Okay. So, number two. Give it a try. Okay. 
their grades are impressive. Mm -hmm. Sus notas son impresionantes. Impresivo. <clears throat> That's what he said. That's the reason why I wrote that one. <laughs> As I, I heard an interview with, with Ben Affleck, you know, for people who don't know, Ben Affleck <laughs> speaks Spanish. Mm -hmm. And he said, impresivo. <laughs> That's what gave me the idea to put it. So what pencil. does impresivo mean? Any? See, I thought it was for grades. I thought it was, you're not, you don't want to see grados. Ah. This, yes, it's not sus grados. No. Uh huh. Well, impresivo is not a common thing that people use. Okay. And we cannot trust in Ben Affleck's Spanish. Um, <laughs> that, that, that's why that, I was saying it was wrong. That's why. Yeah, that's why it I was. It. So the word is not totally wrong, still means um, impresionante. Okay. Impresivo. X. Okay. It's, it's, it's real. That word is real. It's just not common. I don't know anybody that have used native speakers, Spanish native speaker that have used that word before, but the word exists. Okay. If you Google impresivo, uh, you will find uh, that is a real word, but it's not uh, something that we use. Okay. Did so what would you say, Anna, then? Uh, what 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 Nancy said? Impresionante. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And but what Nancy was pointing out is that uh, las um, notas. grados are not grades. Oh, they're not. No, no. <laughs> no. Grados are degrees. <laughs> grados are, are maybe in your little corner of Colombia. But, but, but Bob, but Bob, <laughs> if you say second grade. It's grado, okay? Second grade, so in, in, okay. in that context, it's grado. So, yes, yeah. it's a little okay. thing. Okay. okay, I thought it was the same. Thank you. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah. ¿Cómo sería grado level? Eh, no, porque si es para la escuela, güey, si tu niña eh, va a primer grado, por ejemplo, de primaria, this is first grade. Es correcto. Ok. Sí. Ah. Second grade. Third grade, en ese caso es correcto, ¿ok? okay. Pero okay. aquí, aquí en, en esta oración en particular significa nota, las notas de ella, las notas de, de, de los clase, exámenes. Y si, de digo, los exámenes. y si digo una oración como que mi hija va a primer grado y sus notas son impresionantes, entonces se repite el grade grades. Correcto. <laughs> My daughter is in first grade and her, her, her grades, grades are, are impressive. Great. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. Sí, repite. Sí, los dos. Okay. Or, or Bryce, does it also refer to like degrees, like an, a PhD, a master's? You're talking about like a maestría. That's... Degree, the word, like a master degree. Yeah. Oh. Uh, no, that doesn't. No. More like, more like temperature, uh, 37 mm. degrees. That'd yeah. be grados. So it doesn't okay. mean. That right. would be grados, yeah. No, you can't use it with like a, a science degree in, in that. Okay. In no. That. In Spanish, Nancy, for that, uh, we are very specific with the um, titulos <laughs> that we get. Titulos? Okay. Okay. So, for example, if you um, if you have a master degree, uh, we just say maestria, just master, a yeah. master, maestria, okay. maestria. Oh. Yeah. M -A -E. Is that spelled right, Anna? My uh, no, it's M A E. Maestria. Maya. Oh. Oh, yeah. And PhD? Uh, doctorado. Doctorado. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, Anna, can I ask a question? Can you hear me okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yes. Um, so, calificaciones, is that for like quality or is it is that like grade of material or I thought that was grades too? No? It, it is. Cal calificaciones is also grades, but I, I think it's, you know, more formal maybe, but a lot okay. of people use notas. Uh, sí, uh, wait, iba a decir algo, um, porque a mí siempre se me olvida, okay? 
siempre le tengo que decir. James, uh, when I say about the that I'm going to get my gifts score, what what was the thing Report, that you always report card. report? Report card, ok. Can you write that, please? Uh, yes. Entonces, güey, dice, esto es importante para nosotras, que somos mamás. Entonces, si vos querés decir, voy a traer las calificaciones o las notas de mi hija, yo sé, I'm going to get my daughter's report card. Entonces, esto sería calificaciones. Es cuando te dan oh, el boletín. El boletín. O, 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 ah. Ok. <risa> ok. Porque a mí siempre se me olvida y siempre estoy preguntando. No sé por qué siempre se me olvida. Report card. Report mm -hmm. card. Mm -hmm. okay. Interesting. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Let me try three here. Okay. Acá, acaben de construir una nueva fábrica en la calle 12. Muy they're bien. about to they're about to uh they're about to build a new uh factory on 12th street or they just with just they just yeah they just i'm sorry they just built a new factory on 12th street but there, yeah they're just they're just a little bit more. and it's not built wait this what is it Wait, this, what is this word? Which one? This one? The bill? Or con they just construct built. Built. Built, yeah. Uh, conté. Con built as pasado. On okay. They just built. built. So what's the difference between they are about to versus they just built? Okay, I know. Acaban, justo acaban de hacerlo. Justo acaban de terminar. De, but están a punto de terminar. It will be this, the second. Acaban, están be, a punto de. Están a punto, a punto de, de terminar. They haven't done it yet. Okay. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but if, if you say they, if you say they just built... No, um, no terminar. Hey, hey uh, I, I'll call you no, back. I'm on, a, I'm on a, I'm on a, 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 a class on mm -hmm. Spanish class online. I'll call you back. Okay. Inshallah. Right. Okay. 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 Um, I, I have a question. If you, if you're saying they just built something, isn't that? But that's like in the past, isn't it? It's not saying that they're building it now. Right. So would that would they, they be just, a caban or a oh, caban? They just finished. Or, or they just finished building. Now you, I'll say this since she since she asked. Sometimes people with this structure, sometimes people use the past and the present. Like for example, they just built. You know, sometimes people say "acabaron de construir" as well as "acaban de construir," but but both of them are correct. Okay. Hey. Confusing me, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, Julie, what was the question? I'm sorry. No, I was saying because it was in present tense and the sentence is saying they just built. So it's yeah. like in the past. But I'm I'm was wondering if it was acabaron instead of acaban. As acaban. Like no. it, acaban. 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 Ellos, acabaron yeah. is also correct, Julie. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ellos acabaron o acaban. Yes, that's right. And but acaban, acabar, okay, uh, is basically means literally in Spanish mean uh finish something. Okay. It like so, recently just finish something. So um really this so in English we say they just built, but more accurate might be they just finished. Finished. Building, <laughs> right? Um, right. Okay, because acaban is actually like finished, but it's very common in English to say they just built instead of saying they just finished building, because they just built is easier to say. Sorry, if I say uh, like, it's, acabo, it's okay. Acabo. Hello, hi. If I say acabo the Llegar a mi casa, is it, that's okay? Like I just arrived here? Yeah, home. that's right. That's okay. So Can I, in um, English, we would I say, I just arrived. But what you're really mm -hmm. saying is I just finished arriving. 
Okay. Right. True. That's acabo de llegar. Right. And and you know, we don't say that in English. That's that's not common English. I just finished yeah. arriving at home. That's why I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's yeah, that's that's why it's not a literal translation. It's a picture in your mind. I just arrived home. Acabo de llegar. Hello, sorry, my connection is a little bad. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, me preguntabas algo. Porque no, ah, no, no me, pude... me, pareció, me pareció que ibas a hacer una pregunta sobre la número 3 y te preguntaba si tenías alguna pregunta. Ah, sí. No. Eh, quería saber si este, acaban de construir, en español también podríamos decir, recién terminan de construir, creo que. Reci o recién, recién terminaron. terminaron. Correcto, recién terminaron sí. de construir. Uh -huh. eh, también se usa, recién terminaron. Sí. Es correcto. Sería lo mismo que la oración en inglés. No cambia. Claro, ahí sería di, di, el recién terminaron, sería más como a la segunda oración en inglés, ¿no? They just finished finish building. Correcto. Sí. Yes. Yes. Ok. Mm -hmm. And Julie, I think I interrupted you. I'm sorry. You were going to say something no, no, about I number just, four. Just, yeah, I was just asking. your camera, Julie. We want to see it. That's fine. Um, I'm not in, I'm in hurry. Um, yes. Are you ready? Or do you want me to? Yeah. No, I, I wanted to ask a question about three yet. If you just drop the day in there, could you say Acaban construir la nueva fabrica? Like they stopped building it? No. Is that permissible? No. No. Why, Bryce? Why because it could... means... To... It means to end, doesn't it? Akaban by itself. If you said, if you said, you, you said they they had on use you used they had um you they stopped. If you're saying they stopped building the mm -hmm. the, the new factory, yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Yes, you stopped. You, you it would be they had on they construir. So it's it's they had they. It was just one is acabar de the structure plus infinitive just for. So so they left it or they no they had well the, the verb they had depending on what it's with it sometimes has slightly different meanings but uh -huh. if you say someone stop doing something it's de har de I think it's because well it will be like they left the, the the work they left the construction and didn't want to continue I hmm. think that's like like the the har thing in well, Spanish. Yeah, I see Akaban in um, yeah. in Psalms, you know, they use it like our love ended or you ended our love or and I thought maybe it could be used the same in this in this mm. set, type of sentence also. Next, next week you have to sing to us then. No, 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 you don't want to hear that. You will. <laughs> let's, move, you will let's move on to number. Away. Let's move on to number four. Um, so in number three, uh, Una Nueva Fabrica is a factory so how do we say fabric um Ella. Ella. one um Ella. necesito más uh tela yeah tela. Um, para terminar este vestido Good job. All right. You so, would uh, never say para acabar, see? No. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> para acabar con esa tarea, necesito que todos se pongan a trabajar. Yes, you can. <laughs> All <laughs> to right. To finish that <laughs> task, we need all of us to yes. uh, work it. In that case, yes, you can say that. Para yes. acabar, but you will use para. Para acabar. You need to sí. give a reason to use it in, in an infinitive way. Sí. So you could say, in, in, in that más sense. tela para acabar? Yes. Uh, para acabar ese vestido, uh -huh. necesito más tela. 
So you have to put para acabar in front? Right. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Oh, necesito más tela para acabar el vestido, but you have to put para and okay. then okay. acabar. All right. But it can be okay. para acabar. So yes, yeah. Bev, you're right. In yes. order to finish. Okay. Good and job, right. Bev. You get an extra gold star. We're asking dumb questions. Okay. No, Thank see, it wasn't dumb. It was exactly No, I don't right. think it's dumb. It no. was exactly right. <laughs> It, yes, acabar and terminar are in a lot of ways are exactly um, interchangeable. They're real friends. In this sense, they're yes. not false friends. Yeah. yeah. Actualmente, this is this is one of the most commonly used false friends cognates that's used incorrectly. Right? Actually, you're right. right. <laughs> yes. Actually, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Actualmente does not mean actually. And we want it to, but it doesn't. Doesn't mean current. That. <laughs> doesn't mean current, currently, a current. current. Yeah. Who's, current, who's it, doing yeah, this currently. translation? I don't know. Right. It means like right now or currently. Yes. Latif. Who's going to do the translation? Like nowadays. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to do that. Okay, who wants to tell us what the whole sentence is? I can, do it. Is? I can uh, do it if you yeah. want. I oh, yeah. Go ahead. Um, nowadays, <laughs> I am um more um or my duty is over the Department of Distribution. I would say I'm. In charge of. Charge. Currently in charge of. Yeah. Okay. Or the distribution department. Yeah. I would probably say. Hello, uh, I'm, I'm on the phone call. A uh, 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 call right now. Uh, excuse me. When you're on the sorry. phone, mute yourself. I'm um, sorry. Yeah. Thought, yeah. Um, yeah. Mute, <laughs> mute yourself if you're, actual another, mental. if you're on something else. Okay. I thought. Actual mentally meant nowadays. Or currently or a lot means. of things. <clears throat> currently or right now. It it means right now, like yeah. in the it's you're in the moment. It's it's like right now. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, you might say, yeah, right now I'm actualmente. Like I'm oh. going I'm going right now. Julie, um, can you read the, the Spanish translation? Um, actualmente estoy a cargo del departamento de distribución. Yes. So, what Anna's got here, if actualmente doesn't mean actually, how do you say actually? In realidad. In realidad. <laughs> Wow. Nancy, Nancy say realidad, realidad. Realidad. Yeah. So it's not realidad, it's realidad. Realidad. Muy bien. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, Okie dokie. Versus, <laughs> I actually like having a lot of responsibility. <clears throat> I don't. <laughs> Huh. Uh, Anna does. Well, I'm not sure if I like I have to. <laughs> right. Okay. So we just learned how to say actually. Mm -hmm. So what is this sentence? Tener. Realmente. En realidad. En realidad, yo. Me gusta. Me gusta tener, tener mucho, mucho responsibilidad. Mucha. 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 Dad, it's an in, in DAD. Responsibilidad. Yeah, yeah, sometimes you hear people also say de hecho, also. De hecho, de hecho. me gusta tener Thinking. mucha responsibilidad. Okay. okay. Realmente, really. De hecho, you want to put that in there, Anna? De hecho, in fact. De hecho. De hecho. 
Uh -huh. Realmente, en realidad. Yeah, yes, it's more literally in fact, but a lot of times people use it in that case, yes. Uh -huh. In fact. Uh -huh. uh, I actually like, in fact, I like. Okay. Hay muchos libros interesantes en la uh, librería. Uh, I'll take that. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Uh, too, too easy. <laughs> yes. Uh, Liberty. Uh, they, in the lights, I mean, there are, there are a lot of books, uh, in, a lot of interesting books in the library. Nope. False. <laughs> nope. <laughs> that's all right. Okay. Yes, that's all right. Store. in the bookstore. In the bookstore. Oh, that, that's right. That's a false friend. That's yeah. right. Star, Star. Librería is where they sell books. Biblioteca oh. is where they oh, right. loan books. Hey, Latif, can you can you Star, read the a store book? Oh, read it and spec. I much I muchos libros interesante in la Li, li, uh, li, librerias. Yes, now you want to say interesantes. 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 Thank you. Interesante. Okay. Interesante. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was hearing interesante. No, yeah. In, in. Interesante. Interesante. Somebody pronounce bookstore, please. Bookstore. Librería. En español, por favor. Librería. 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 Roll those R's. That's right. Librería. Works out the R's. Librería. Librería. La es que está la R y está la R. Eso es complicado. Librería. So in this case, you're really not rolling the R. Oh, we are with the first R, not with the second one. So you only roll the first R, everybody. Librería. 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 Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Well, it comes after the B, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, okay, pretend. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Pretender. No. <laughs> Estoy diciendo lo que uno Estoy... se fue. Imagina, pues... ni nada. Fingir. Estoy. Fingir. Fingir. Voy a fingir. Voy a fingir. ¿Cómo? I need to say something about that, okay? Voy, voy, a... voy a fingir que no escuché eso. Voy a pretender, también es correcto, en este caso. Voy a pretender que no doy eso, ¿ok? So, in that case, you can say it also. Uh, fingir is not correct. I think it's with G. Fingir con G. Sí. Uh, yeah. Fingir. Thank you. Should, should this be in the subjective or subjunctive? And fingir is not yeah. finger. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Someone said about the subjective, the escuche, es, escuche has the mark on the end of it. It's the uh, past tense. Yeah, but okay. should it be subjunctive? No. No. When it's about yourself, uh, in this case, um, you don't do it. Um, if uh, When it's about yourself, you is um, when it's the first person, you are talking about you. If it's negative, it is a subjunctive. No creo que venga. Eh, no creo eh, lo que voy a, lo que, no creo que vaya a decir eso. For example, so uh, those are subjunctive. What if um, I, what if say, what if I say, Anna, pretend you didn't hear that. Hmm? Pretend. Anna pretende, uh, que no escuchaste eso. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
but what if I <laughs> but you might or you might not uh-huh yeah um <laughs> I, I I want to share guys if you are interested um this link uh it might help well it helps a lot okay um it's called El Conjugado oh, where is that hold on Put it in the put it in the document and I'll click on it. Right. So one second. So it's a very simple, ugly uh website, but it's amazing. It's it's just great. Okay. okay. Great. And so what you do is basically you put a verb or say your verb or su verbo, and then you click on conjugar. And so you will see uh, the infinitive, the subjunctive, and the conditional, mm. all the different tenses. Mm. So when you have any concern about a word, uh, so you can see, uh, like, uh, put, uh, pretend, pretender, pretender. Okay, wow. so see, it's, it's great. I, I don't use uh, like this type of things to to memorize anything, but sometimes if I have a concern, if it's a John Dave, if it's what it is, you know, it's a good reference. It's a great thing. This is great. Yeah. Yeah. There's a um, same. There's similar something similar for English speakers. Uh, no, it's that... the same. You can switch. Mm -hmm. See yeah. on the. Uh, you can just switch it those Spanish, French, English, Italian, Portuguese, uh, mm. whatever, and you can switch to English. Uh, I, I think I think you can uh, well, do the I... same thing. Uh, well, try. I I don't know, but I think it, it works. I have only tried with Spanish verbs. Uh, I'm not sure what it's doing. Um, I'm gonna go back to America Latina. English. Oh, okay. This is when I go to Espanol, it's it's just changing. When I go to English, it's just changing it to instead of presente, it's present. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um preterito, right. Um something in English. I would just use like dictionary. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Anna, do you Anna, use do you use anything to for the verbs in English? No, no. I, it's I, strange, I, but I only use these in English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I go, you go. English is just mm -mm. so easy. Okay, this is a great resource. Um, I am just going to drag it over here. Can you can you put it in the WhatsApp so we can elect link? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what is the name again? Is it EI? I can't I can't read it. So um we're putting it in. I'm putting it in right now, Anna. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, it's it's gonna default uh, to welcome. pretender, but you can put any verb in there, I'm sure. Right. Okay. Um thank you, Anna. You're welcome. How come it's been eight years and you never told me that before? <laughs> But you never ask. I don't know. <laughs> no, but it's really good. Uh, yeah, it's great. I think I help people to learn Spanish. Um, it's very rare for me. I to learn English. I read. That's what I do. I read and I listen. Uh huh. I'm so sorry. I, you know that. Yeah. Okay. Bryce, number nine. What are we? Pretende tener su propio restaurante. Restaurante. El próximo año. He intends to have his own restaurant next year. He pretends? He intends? No, he intends. Intends, yeah. <clears throat> so, this is the eh, Intends, no it, es intentar. ¿Verdad? Pod podría That's ser right. para nosotros, porque la conjugación de pre la podemos um, sustituir, pretender, por intenta, intenta tener su propio restaurante el próximo año. Entonces, la, la traducción no es literal, 
¿verdad? En, en inglés, pretend no es eh, intenta, sería try lo que eh, Brian said, pero nosotros sí lo podemos. Si vos querés decir intenta o pretende o quiere, entonces puedes decir um, intent. So that's the lesson for this sentence, I imagine. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it looks like just pretend, like I'm just going to pretend mm -hmm. something. That is a false friend. Yeah. Great. Uh, I'm going to vacuum the carpet. Boya. Boya. Aspirier. There you go. La alfombra. La alfombra. <laughs> Not la, not la carpeta. <laughs> Although you can vacuum your files if you want. <laughs> <laughs> carpeta is not carpet. carpet. Carpeta is not carpet. What's that? It's in Hold the it. next. It's in the next example. Sorry. That's <laughs> all right. It's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> you can say the carpet is on la carpeta está en, or is on the floor, right? La carpeta está en alfombra? No, it's in, in no, no piso. In, uh, how do you say It's on the floor. On the floor. How do I say that, Bryce? The carpet is on the floor? In el piso. In el piso, you said it. Yeah, yeah, in el piso. Sobre right? la pizza. In el, in el piso. In el yeah. piso. Yeah, in el piso. Okay. I thought you were saying it was saying it wrong. La carpeta está en el piso. Can I ask a question about piso in Suelo? Sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so I always thought that piso was the floor, like like of an apartment or the house third, or third floor yeah, yeah or the third floor or the fifth floor but i, I always thought suelo... oh, okay thank you i always thought suelo was the ground like outside but when i was in mexico i heard something different like there's piso and suelo are the same thing yeah senor and Roy I, also they... suelo is outside okay suelo is outside oh. the earth yes outside you're right okay uh, oh. with with almost everything or everything you're always right the problem is not that you are wrong or your spanish is not good it's just like in mexico or in venezuela in nicaragua you know we have we use uh some words more than others okay and if someone tells you that oh you are wrong well you just ignore that you are not you know so um and uh -huh. and you you can learn how Nikes talk, how Mexican talk, how people from Venezuela talk. How do you say Venezolano in English? Venezuela, Venezuelan, Venezuela, Venezuelan. Venezuelan talks. Okay, because um we all have our own, you know. Dale. Basically, Dale. for for me, um, suelo is ground. And yeah, even, but suelo is if, piso also. But piso. even if I'm in the house, Charlotte. I might say, put that on the ground. Maybe, oh, maybe not real common. I might, I would more be more likely to say, put it on the floor. But you could hear me say, you know, put that on the ground, and yeah. just put it down, right? Right. Um, wouldn't be, you know, it. I can imagine. I can hear my grandfather saying that, right? Even if we were inside the shop or something, right? Anyway, that that's my equivalent of suelo, and it's like more like ground. Isn't it true in many countries there's a difference between the ground floor and the first floor? The first floor is what we might call the second floor. In in, in many that's countries, right. <laughs> many Primer countries. Primer piso, segundo piso. Yeah. Yeah. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Where are you I, I almost went into a tangent about China. Let's not go there. Okay. <laughs> You wanted. <laughs> I did. I did. No, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> okay. Puse todos los papeles en la carpeta. And I also want to say um, the. Wow. 
floor. Okay. So first, how do we say number 11? Who we'll say, what's that mean? Put all the papers. I put, the papers put in the file. I... Go ahead, weigh this, that's fine. I put on, maybe, I put on See? Uh, the papers. Papers, papers. I pull on papers. the papers. On, on folder. In. Uh, paper. Es que no sé cómo se pronuncia. Ah, ahí te lo puse. Ah, léelo en español. Lo que puse entre paréntesis en mayúsculas. Hey, papers. papers. Correcto. Good. Ah, papers. Ok. Mm -hmm. In, no on. Papers, yeah. In. In, in. ah. Ok. In the, in the folder. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. I put all the papers in the folder. Now, the file is on the floor. La, cor la carpeta. What I'm trying to say. What, what, Bryce? You can also say archivo. Uh, yes, Chiva. file. But I don't want to. I want to use carpeta. Okay. Well, you can. Okay. I, well, so it should, instead of <laughs> so, file, it might I be folder. Should, yeah. La carpeta so. de Yeah, you cannot say uh, the file. Well, you can. Está en el piso. Is that right? Yes. Okay. So it's folder. That's what I'm trying to point out. That's what I'm trying to have in this document. It means the folder is on the floor. It does not mean the carpet is on the floor. That's mm -hmm. what I was trying to say. Uh, maybe I took that too far. Okay. So okay. I know if you're saying like um I leave the check for my housekeeper on the table and I can say um el cheque está sobre. Yeah. Uh, la mesa. Do you ever say sobre el piso? Uh, mm. No. No. Okay. Anna's saying no. She's confused. No, no, no me. No me. I don't know about way this, but no sobre el piso. En el piso. Sí. On, but on no sobre. Okay. Because it's not on top of the floor. I, we would never say, I leave the check on top of the floor. We yeah, we will say sobre for things that have high. On top of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Or above or on top of. Like, la taza está sobre la mesa. La mesa. Encima de. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've used mm -hmm. Above. Yeah. Okay. Uh, did we lose Bryce? Well, I don't see him. I don't see him also. Not true. I'm worried. <laughs> okay. Participants. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay. Um, he is constipated uh, he is, uh, <laughs> is is that a temporary condition <laughs> yes oh, 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 hope so <laughs> hope so it depends <laughs> l s s grenido l s da s grenido Estreñido. Okay. So, constipado is what we want to say, right? What does that mean? Catch a cold. There's a cold, are you sick? Right. Yeah. Constipado is like stuffed up, stuffy nose. Congested. Congested. 
Right. Oh, just. No, that. So, um, so what's the difference between Estonian number thirteen? And... What Estra... was that, Charlotte? It's Julie. Power. I think oh, it's sorry. Julie. Julie. Okay. Um, Estranido and Estranimiento is one like constipated and one constipation? Or no. can you both? You know, it's estreñimiento is uh, raining. Estreñimiento y, y estreñido is lo mismo. Is you can poop, okay? So, um, mm -hmm. but estreñimiento it will be like like the word to specify that you are sick, like a illness is right to say, to specify you know, enfermedad? The illness. No. illness. Illness. It's not really okay. an illness. Okay, and it's, it's a condition. Right, it's a condition. And then, estreñido, it will be like the actual problem. You know, what you are having in that moment? Uh, because, um, because think about this, tiene you can say eh, el está tiene gripe, okay? So you mm -hmm. you don't have a cold, but you say está gripado, okay? It's how this person feels. So um, he can have a cough, he can have fever, he can. So you are specifying more how the person is feeling mm -hmm. or the problem, the actual problem that is having, more than uh, talking about the illness itself. I'm not sure if that's clear, but uh -huh. well, isn't one of your answer is the same. <laughs> Uh -huh. A past participle versus the adjective is of the same word. Yeah, the noun and the adjective, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's squeeze one more. I think, Anna, remember today we were playing with Zoom and I did the setting for hide non-video participants? Yeah, but Bryce have... left because he just joined. Okay. No. Okay. All right. But I don't see Julie on the list either, and she's obviously uh, but, here. No, but I, I can't see her. Oh, I don't. But oh, I can't, okay. but I can't change it because I'm sharing. Sorry, everybody. Yes. We're we're talking about Zoom because we're trying to figure out all the Zoom settings. They keep they keep hmm. changing. Okay. I think Wade has a question. She mm -hmm. has her hand raised. Sure. Wait this. Yes. Um este, eh, yo quería hacer un comentario con estreñido y estreñimiento. Creo que uno viene siendo como también como el verbo y el adjetivo, tal vez se puede ver así, o no, Ana. Uh -huh. Correcto. Sí. Es correcto, estreñido sería el verbo conjugado y el estreñimiento sería el, lo que dice el adjetivo. Sí, se puede ver así también. Okay. <clears throat> Está constipado, right? Oh, look at that. So Bryce already had the sec the next. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Bryce. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh, one more. Let's get it in here, and then you can do the rest uh, yourself. All right. I prefer to study in the library. So this is this is Latif. I think he did the yeah. other one. Did yeah. it, okay. Prefero, prefero a studiar in biblioteca. Yeah, in, 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 la, la, bibli in la biblioteca. Right. Latif, uh -huh. say uh, prefiero. Say the Pref first one. Prefiero. Yes. Prefiero. Gracias. Thank you. You're welcome. Prefi prefiero in la hey, biblioteca. biblioteca. I wanted to say something real quick since we're about to go. Just just on, on the remaining examples, there's three different ones that in English you use the word support, but in Spanish they're, diff they're different words. So pay attention to that. Uh, do you, okay, so Bryce, just give us the just just give us the answers real quick. Okay. No puedo suplantar estas tonterías. No puedo.
Okay. Down a little bit. I'm going to support this project. That foundation is not going to support that house. That foundation is not going to support that house in a heavy storm. No va a sostener, so, sostener. Oh, yeah. Sostener, yeah. Sostener. It's a casa en un. Una. Tormenta. Mm -hmm. Fuerte. I want to find. Okay. I want to find. All right. And we've come this far. Uh, what does this mean, real quick? Uh, relatives from relatives. New York came to the party. My who? What did you say, Nancy? Relatives? Yes. Your yeah, relatives. Support, support funciona para apoyar, o sea, apoyar y soportar. Entonces, Correct. tiene. Oh. Okay, and 19. All right. We, we want to find. Solution. Solution, yeah. Sensible Sada. solution. Sada. Sensible? Sensible. Well, sensible. Sensible. Okay. Versus, mm. oops, sorry. Ella es muy sensible. Sensible. Mm. Okay. A los necesitos de, de la estudiante. A las ne necesidades. De sus estudiantes. We send symptoms. Sus estudiantes. All right. Okay. Bryce, this is a great yeah. idea. This is a really Thank good you. idea. Uh, yes, it was. Any, uh, any quick requests that you want uh, Bryce to have a look at? Anybody <laughs> having uh, questions about any particular topic or whatever? Yes, I do. Okay. How about um, to become? To okay. become. That's a good one. Yeah, it's, I understand there's several, and I don't think they're interchangeable. That's that's a good one. That's 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 a good lesson. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> do became also <laughs> become became. Yeah, you have like llegar, hacer, hacerse, ponerse, convertirse en, and volverse. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. All right. Okay. Stars, gold um, stars. I have a question as well. Mm -hmm. um, for like, because he has support. Um, Bryce, you have support in several of the questions and um, or sentences. And I'm just wondering. Um, how do you know when to use like maintenir, ap uh, apoyar, or sostener? Um, well, these are the ones that they have more than one, like support from English. We translate it into Spanish, it just has more than one meaning, so it kind of requires a little more memory, um, than, than some verbs. Um, it, I, I don't have any secret method to, I just I just know that I can't use soportar like I'm going to support you. I like I I know that automatically, um, and then apoyar I know that automatically. That's like hey I'm gonna sh you know I'm going to support you. Um, I mean that's that's just the way I I think of them. Sostener you know like to hold something up to to maintain something. How about Sostener. I can't stand him? Is that uh, supportar also? I can't stand I it. I can't stand him. No. No puedo. No, no lo aguanto. All right, no guys. Um, we're going to let Anna go feed her children. And it's getting late on the East Coast. 
Thank you, everybody. Um, gracias. Gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias. Muchas gracias. gracias. Thank you, Bryce. Cuídense. Bye-bye. Thank you, Anna. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.